Hey y'all, out here at uh, Renfro and Raleigh Restorations, and uh, for all the cool hot rods and muscle cars that they have, um, one of my favorite places is uh, Ron's Toy Room. I want to show that to you. Ron, how are you, brother? Good, Scotty. How are you today? Not too bad. Tell me what we got going on in here. Uh, we got an adult toy room of cars. Buddy, I am so into die cast. You know I love the real stuff, but how cool is this? How long have you been collecting? Oh, uh, probably about 15 years, I guess, thereabouts, give or take a little. What got you started? My grandson, yeah. Hot Wheels. You know what got me started? I was married at one time, and my in-laws bought me some die-cast cars for Christmas because they didn't know what else to get me. They knew I love cars, but I really didn't have many die-casts at that point. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, they got me three or four of them, and then it was just an addiction after that. That's usually the way it starts. And, I mean, we can't own all these cars, right? But it's sure cool that we can have models of them. Yeah, I, I really enjoy coming down here sometime in quiet time and just, just take a few minutes and look at one section and just really enjoy them. Sure. You dream about what you couldn't have when you was a kid. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. You, uh, man, oh, uh, look at all them Camaros. This is like, a, this is a whole case of almost all Camaros, isn't it? Now these are Yankos on the bottom down here. Most of them on oh, okay. the cross are Yankos. Yeah, sure enough. Look at that, would you? You got them in about every color. All the cars that you see in here has been uh, hand washed and waxed and put in the cases just exactly so. And Hopefully I don't have to take them out and never dust them. I know I will someday probably, but... It's funny you say you wax them because I do that to mine too. Yeah. Yeah, I put a coat of wax on them. I mean, you know, because dust will come off easier, fingerprints, all that, you know. Try to keep them as new as you can, you know, and, and look as good as they look. Right. Can't, or can look. Look at that chrome one. How cool is that? Wow. That is just, that's just blowing my mind. And then you got a GTO out there like this one here. Yeah, we've done a, a real car just exactly like that car right there. Yeah, I shot a feature of it. How cool is that? And these are most of Pontiacs over here. Now they're not all in order. You said when you put them back in here, you just put them in. Well, Look at that. You got a you got a Fiero. That's a that's a Fiero. What was that? I'm singing in that Pontiac made that Ferrari. That's not that's what that was, but it's a Fiero. How cool is that? Most of the cars in this room are kind of in a category like the Pontiacs, the Chevys. And then as we get into the other room, they're kind of mixed up. I just took them as they come out of the box. Right. That's Trans Ams. We've done one identical to you, Sean. Yeah, it. yeah you got that one there too, yeah. Same car. I use this room a lot with customers to come in and pick out a color of a car combination or whatever they want on their car. Sure. They yeah. see what, basically what it's going to look like when it's done. Right. So basically what you've been able to do is then take your hobby and turn it into a tax write-off. Well... Maybe a little bit. <laughs> I gotta have them. <laughs> I gotta have a little. Yeah, I gotta have them. How many, how many are there, do you know? In these two rooms, there's uh, 7,021 cars. I counted them, but I have over 22,000 cars altogether. Where are the rest at? They're all stored in these buildings that you just walked by. Oh, no kidding. Man, you talk about a honey hole, folks. These folks here, this, this shop is a honey. I mean, I never expected that. Grand Nationals, how cool is that? I never expected to walk into this. And Ryan and I were in, a, in another building, and he was like, oh, I got something I want to show you. Come here and look at this. And I'm just crazy about die cast. Like I said, I've been collecting it a long time. Nice car stuff, all that. But, man, when he opened the door to this, I was like, I don't want to make you mad. But for all the cool hot rods we've been shooting today, this is the coolest room I've been in. Harry's Oldsmobile. Hmm, 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 hmm. Corvettes. So are you still collecting? Yeah, I, if I find something I know that I don't have. Right. Obviously it's slowed yeah. down a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I've slowed way down the last, probably the last year or so. 427 Corvettes. How cool is that? Got the Grand Sport Corvette there. Man, oh man. We got some Cadillacs and stuff over here. More of 
Yeah, look at that, would you? Look at that Cuda, I love that. I like the Star Spangled ones too, those are cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It must be a series of them because I see you got another one over there. Yeah, I've got, I think I got about four all together. Even got some low riders and stuff in here. Doesn't seem like your style, Ron, but I guess it, you, you like it all, don't you? You like the old stuff, yeah. the new stuff, the muscle cars, everything. Anything's got wheels on it, I want to be part of it. Part of it, I guess. Brother, I am with yeah. you. I am with you. You're right. If it's got a motor and wheels on it, chances are I want to see it. Those look like they're black chrome. They are. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah, I've got several black chrome through the whole shop. Wow. Oh, look at all these Chevelles. It's like a die cast museum. Look at that Camaro back there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got ghost stripes on it. It's chrome and it's got silver stripes on it. That's a cool car. And these parts are uh, to a uh, motor scooter you're working on. Yeah? Yeah, it's a 1960 uh, Mustang motor scooter. And then you use the uh, Mustang. Emblem was that the original emblem for it, or no? Was it? No, I just ran across those. No, that's and, cool. Uh, I'll hold one up and get a good shot of it. Yeah, no, that's cool. Wow. No, it's gonna look good. That's laid under clear. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, they're sure. They've not been sanded or buffed or anything. Right. But they're just curing, and they all get sanded and buffed. Man, oh my! And this thing's two rooms big. Let's go check out and see what we got back here. We'll stop here first. Yeah. Sprint cars. Grew up around those. So you've got Indy cars. And in the South, folks, that's uh, the Indy cars aren't very big. Open wheels aren't very big. So you see uh, you see somebody with Indy cars in their collection. It's kind of like a wow. I'd say some of these NASCARs and some of these older stuff has so got to be worth quite a bit of money because these die casts do really well. And I was telling Ron, too, that when I grew up, when I was a kid, in Toledo, we used to go to Myland, and uh, we couldn't afford a lot of souvenirs, and I was able to get a postcard, and it was the Color Me Gone race car. Now, it wasn't this one. It was, a, it was like a 70 Cuda or something, but he's got two different Color Me Gone cars, and uh, that's just a flashback to the when I was a kid. There's another black chrome. Man, that's cool. Cougars. And then there's a whole nother room back here. And we've set up some light, um, some extra spotlight, because the light's not the greatest back here, but I'm sure it's going to show up just fine. All the matchbox cars. And you have grandkids? Yeah, I have one one grandson. He's 20 years old. I have two little uh, granddaughters that are about four and five. Hmm. Man, I'm alive. That's just amazing. I mean, you just collect virtually just just a little bit of everything. I mean, mostly it's racing stuff, but I see you got tractors. This old John Deere stuff, it can be real valuable stuff too, you know? Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at that Mustang. One of 1,500. That's a cool car. A Maybach. Look, he's got two Maybachs. Isn't that crazy? It's just anything that's die cast that you don't have. Oh, I'm sure there's something out there, but I think I've covered most of it. I mean, folks, look at that wall of just Hot Wheels. 
E-Birds pickup trucks. One of seventeen hundred fifty GTOs. A lot of these are limited edition. Yeah, I've got a lot of limited edition cars. That's why they stay in the box. You got anything like that? You want to make sure you, if you don't, even if you take it out of the box, you keep the box. But it's probably my socks and Martin car. Yeah, a buddy of mine's got one of those diecasts. He just showed me a few weeks ago. I was over at his house. Hemi under glass. You got a couple of those. Yeah, I got some out of the box, so just mm -hmm. play them. More matchbox over here. And Jimmy Spencer. We all gotta love Jimmy Spencer now. There was a day when maybe you didn't like him, but Jimmy makes fun of himself now, so you can handle it. Brother, I can't tell you how I wish I had a die cut. Hey, look at that. He's got the big one and the small one in that Mustang back there. It's cool never having to grow up, isn't it? Yeah, my wife says I'm the only child she needs. That's it. And you know what it is. The bottom line is, is a lot of people wish they could do, live life like that. And, uh, they choose not to. You know, it hasn't always been easy, I don't think. I bet you've taken your own road sometimes, and that's not always been the popular one or the easy one. No, I've had a lot of bumps and hills to get up and over any day. With a lot of success else. comes a lot of failure. I yeah. mean, that's, yeah, that's the bottom line. Is that you've you got don't have failure, you haven't been out there trying to do nothing. Or you've not succeeded as much as you can, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, uh, it's rough out there trying to trying to do what you do. That old van. <laughs> He's doing one like that in the shop. Look at that. Judge Funny Car. How cool is that? Keith Black. A bunch of old motorcycles. Look at all that. Unbelievable. This is this is by far one of the best die cast collections I've ever personally witnessed. That kind of looks like that car you got out there in the garage. Yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is just his die cast, folks. He's got a whole shed of stuff that I'm going to shoot here in the next week or two. We can get a chance to get it out and get it cleaned up and all, but some really, there's another Color Me Gone car. Some really cool stuff. Because like I said, Ron is, uh, he, he's he got old stuff. He's got one of Jerry Lee Lewis's old cars, believe it or not. Yeah, we got Killer's car coming to Scotty DTV. How cool is that? And he's got some wood cars that he's made. Just, uh, just a really cool place to come hang out. I am glad that I got to meet these boys up at the, uh, up at the Grand Rod Run. Oh, yeah, he got semis, too. I love semi-trucks. I don't know, as a kid, I always thought I wanted a semi-truck to drive around every day. I thought it would be cool. <laughs> He's got a camper. You know you're collecting stuff when you're collecting Winnebago's. You're running out of stuff to get. Yeah, that's, right. that's what I'm saying. I'm saying you're, you know, you're really looking for some stuff you don't have when you're buying Winnebago's. Man, yeah, that's good. Oh, that's just beautiful, man. Folks, I have tried to give you, and this video's run a little long. I see I'm almost 15 minutes on this deal. But I understand it. I mean, you know, we've not been dragging our feet. You could spend hours in here. Look at that. My very first car. No, actually, it was a real one, but um, you could spend hours in here. Um, like he said, he's had people request, hey, can I just go in there and sit for a while? And, uh, man, to a car guy, how cool is this? Ron, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it, brother. What an awesome collection you Pleasure got. Pleasure having you. Thanks so much. Thank there you, you. There you go, folks. That is uh, Ron's Diecast Collection from uh, Renfro and Raleigh Restorations. Hope you all enjoyed it. See you.